So what I got here is a Swedish Army knife, 1896, and it's uh, about 13 inches long. I already measured it, it's hard to do with one hand, but it's about 13, or probably pretty dead on at this point right here. So we'll take a look at the knife first. The marking for it, this is a real one. See the crown right there? 608. And then there's also, at least on mine, the EJAB right there. And then on the tang, right there, with the crown over to the left. Stamp. I don't have any numbers up there or on that side. I can tell this has been used though because you have wear pattern at the bottom and wear pattern at the top. So when you slide it in, you know, you're going to rub those and it probably vibrates a little. I'm going to guess. See down in there. And then this is a, actually a later version. 1896 and that does pull out still see still works and how you know it's a later version is because this is conical shape not flat the earlier version was flat now we'll take a look at the sheath and I do have a marking down here, I have the crown on the tip. There's no number. If we take a, let's go back out. We have a E A B right there. No number, so I have no idea. Don't know enough about bayonets. And this is what it came with as a holder. Um, I took it out just for this video. Somebody put their initials back here at one point, so I'm going to guess this is remade. I, don't, I have no idea. Um, some people show numbers up, up here. I don't have that, and I don't have a number. I got that with the crown to the left. But I have no number, no indication that there was ever a number down there. I was hoping I could take it apart but I, I honestly could not figure figure that out. So that's what it looks like down there. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good example of knife. The bad thing was whoever stored it in some grease I had, I've had this for oh well all through high school so somewhere 91 95 my father was picking up bayonets over while we lived in Europe and it's a real one because you can tell by the handle the markings are all correct um, don't really understand the numbering system or maybe that's that is correct <laughs> don't know Maybe this is a early one with a replaced um, end here. I have no idea, you know. I've learned a little more about bayonets while just kind of playing with these. So that screw holds in this piece. So obviously you used to be able to take these apart to get down in there, probably clean it out, you know. Dirt gets in there, you need to clean it out. So there we have it. That's my Swedish Army 1896, um, a later version. Um, hopefully this helps you out if you're looking at knives. Uh, from my understanding, they go anywhere from $80 to $120. And um, I don't know, I'll probably keep this one. Not quite sure. It's a nice bayonet. It's solid. It'll last a life, <laughs> over a lifetime.